look I know what I'm talking about when I go to the store I do my research I look in the app and I make sure that what I'm picking up is actually in the store because if it's not I don't have a problem ordering it but what you're not gonna do is stare me in my face as I'm showing you a picture take me to the wrong section and be like oh we don't have it what are you talking about Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Lydia Marie. Thanks for joining. Hi to my new subscribers. I see y'all. I've gotten like seven or eight of y'all in like the last week. Hi and welcome. I'm so glad you guys are back to my A1 from day ones. Welcome back as well. You guys, I took advantage of the Target and Ulta summer beauty sales. Ulta's has been going on for about three weeks now. They've had so many point multipliers that I went ahead and shopped and I got five times the point on something I bought from Mac and then I got four times the points on some other things that I got and Target had their Target Circle Beauty sale where it was a lot of things that were like 15 to 30 percent off but also if you bought like $40 worth of things you get a $10 gift card and you know I cannot resist getting something for shopping okay so I went shopping I got a few things and we're gonna talk about it let's get into let's it let's talk about the foundation that I got first and I'm calling it foundation because to me it wears like a foundation but this is the new Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour skin tint I hope it will focus there it is so I got this one from Ulta and I got another shade that they didn't have at Ulta from Target so these are fairly new they didn't have them in the store for a while I don't think or maybe I just wasn't paying attention but I decided to try one out because I really like Maybelline foundation and I really like their super stay because it's longer lasting this is supposed to be a skin tint and Maybelline says it's supposed to last up to 24 hours it's infused with vitamin C so it gives you a little brightening it's giving you a radiant and glowy finish and it's supposed to be light to medium coverage but as you can see in the video that I'm putting on here this is applying to me more like a foundation number one instead of a skin tint it does give you a nice glowy finish on this side I decided not to prime my face other than my skincare so I can see how it lays on this side I did prime my face with the elf putty primer and I color corrected my hyperpigmentation and it still laid flawless Flawlessly. but it, to me it gives more of a medium coverage more so than a light coverage now I got the shade 330 which is a more it's darker but the undertone is still a little bit more golden and then I got the shade 312 I matched this up to the shade of their super stay foundation I wear the shade 330 so I matched that one up to this but I wasn't sure with the color of my skin because of the tan and which one I needed and actually they both work and I think that has a lot to do with the undertone so Alta has this on sale in their app it's normally $17.99 in the app it was marked down to $14.36 I think and Target has this regularly for sale I mean on sale for $12.99 so depending on where you get it you know that's how much you would pay for it anywhere between you know $13 and $14 I went to Alta to get this one and I got it in the app I put it in my basket in the app when I got to the store I didn't see it in the store but I was like I know they have it because if not it will say not available for pickup so I put it as available for pickup miss mama's at the store and she took me back I was over browsing the Maybelline section she took me I was like I can't find this and normally when they have new stuff they'll have it on in caps or like in a special display but they didn't have it with the newer Maybelline stuff up towards the front and I was like okay so I asked an associate she took me back to the Maybelline section pointed to everything and I was like it's not over here like I was just here that's why I'm asking for help right why did she was like oh we don't have it first of all you do because if you didn't I wouldn't be able to select it for pickup in the app and it wouldn't be no problem I would just order it online secondly she kept trying to grab my phone even though I was enlarging the picture for it and holding it she kept was I was like you don't need to touch my phone like don't touch my phone what are you doing and she was like oh sometimes we'll say it in the app and we don't have it I said but you do because if it didn't it would say not available for, for pickup even though it's in the store which means they haven't put it out yet so I walked around she was following me around she was like oh you know and trying to explain oh we don't have it we don't have it so I went and found a black girl manager that I know kind of she sees me in there all the time and I was like can you find this for me she was like oh yeah we have it what's your shade went back to this back and got the shade in like 15 seconds and the other girl was like oh I didn't think we could get get out of my face 
get out of my face. That ought to annoy me. <laughs> I don't have a new concealer per se, but I'm going to stick with the Maybelline theme here on my face and use a dot of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I have that under my eyes. And this is in the shade Tan, I think it's called. You know I'm going to link everything below because you know I can't see. And then I have some of my Maybelline Magic Eraser right here in the corner. But yeah, I wasn't saying like, girl, go get it with her. No, I know what I'm doing. I don't waste my time just browsing through the store. A lot of the times I will only buy through the app and go pick up for that particular reason. Because if it's in the app and it says pick up, then they're going to find it. You know what I'm saying? In the store. And they had the display way in the back of the store and I didn't go back that far. But I got it and I was like... I don't be giving y'all a hard time just for my health, okay? But don't don't play me like I'm stupid. Because now we both standing there like the Diddy gif. You know what I'm saying? Staring at each other like, like what's tea? Okay? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I don't waste my time in these stores. But I'm going to use the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Powder under my eye. I got the Banana Powder Shade. I got this from Target for $5.99, I want to say. I've used this years and years ago, but I think it was translucent. But I wanted to try the Banana Powder this time. This is a really great powder and very affordable and also a really, really great dupe for Laura Mercier. And since it's a Banana Powder, I'm just taking a teensy tiny bit here. And I'm just going to set that everywhere I put foundation. It's going to be a little bit brighter. I really like that concealer, y'all. That Fit Me Concealer. It is full coverage, but I did prep my under eye pretty well today. I don't bake. Y'all know I don't bake under my eyes. My eyes are too dry for that, but I do want them to look a little brighter today. So, that's the banana powder. We're going to try out some of these new eyeshadow sticks from Maybelline. Since I'm trying to keep this a drugstore video, I prime my eyelids with the Morphe eyeshadow primer and this is something that Gigi Loves Beauty recommended for me because I didn't like the NYX one anymore. So I got two of the new Maybelline Tattoo eyeshadow sticks. These are supposed to be long lasting, no budge type of eyeshadow sticks. As you can see the theme those in my last couple of videos with eyeshadow sticks, those are the theme right now. No budge, easy to use, etc, etc. I feel like this foundation is kind of, or maybe it's the powder. Let me press that powder in. Look in here. Anyway, I got two of them. One is called, I think this one is called I Am Confident. This is what it looks like. It's kind of a oranges or reddish brick color. It looks more like an orange. This one does not have sparkle. And I didn't think that this one has sparkle, but it does. And I think this one is more glittery. It has that metallic finish. And I don't know if I want to use either of these today because I don't know if it's going to go with the blush. I think I'm going to put on the blush and then come back to the eyeshadow and maybe do something else. But these are the new Maybelline um, eyeshadow sticks that I got. And I may exchange one of these for a more neutral color and not something so shimmery. So L'Oreal last year, y'all know they released the infallible 24 hour bronzers, which FYI, some of the best bronzer that you can have in your collection, hands down. And then they came out this year with infallible blushes. They only released four shades and for a long time it was only available online at Amazon or something, but only online you couldn't see it in the store. Well, lo and behold, my Target had them in stock. And I didn't intend to get this, but they had it and I got it and I, because I wanted it. <laughs> I was very excited to get this one. And I got the shade Confident Pink. Now, y'all know I'm not really a bright pink blush person. I tend to go to corals and stuff like that. But I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and it's just so freaking pretty. I mean, look at that. So let's do a swatch of this wowza dang that's the one little swatch so i'm about to put some of this on because i'm curious to see how this pink is gonna look and i know from watching videos you only need a little bit of this so i'm about to try this on all right let's do it i'm excited because i don't do pink on my cheek like that and nothing is vibrant because oh my gosh i'm kind of i'm kind of nervous let me see how Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's actually very pretty. <laughs> wow. That's actually really pretty. And it is powder form, but it has a nice little silkiness to it. 
So I'm going to have to bluff this. Now that I have it in place, let's just blend this out. Because you really only need a tap of that. <gasps> but that's so pretty. It's very pigmented, you guys. They only released four shades of these, and I kind of want to go back and get the coral one if it's still in stock. Wow, let me do the other cheek. That is very nice. Okay, I like it. I didn't think I would like this brighter pink, but it's very, 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 very pretty. Very flattering, and like I said, it's powder, but it has a silkiness to it. I also got two of the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blushes. These have been out for ages. I've just never tried their cream blushes before. I have tons of their powder blushes. The Baked Milani Blushes, which are mwah, chef's kiss. So I was curious to see how these would play out on my skin. Now, these are supposed to be sheer. And the streets are saying that if you like these type of cream blushes save your money on the makeup by mario ones and get this one so i watched another creator and i was like say less because these were on sale at Ulta now they're normally 10.99 but they were marked down to seven dollars and 46 cents so i got two i got the neutral shade that is called um N nude kiss and this one is called blushing berry so i'm gonna put a little bit of blushing berry over this and we're gonna see how it so looks. this is blushing berry this is what it looks like nice little sheer wash of berry coverage and they're really silky in the pan as you can see and also as a tip if you ever want to layer your blushes put your powder on first and then your cream i learned that from patrick ty and that's what he said to do with his um cream and powder blushes to put the powder down first and then the cream this is a lot i'm not going to need that much so i'm going to wipe some of this off on my hand just to see how sheer Ooh. these really are <laughs> oh my god i love it this is a lot of color payoff holy kashmoly batman <sighs> it looked like somebody said right across my face but i'm gonna blend it out and it's gonna be stunning so hold on Okay, let's keep blending out this blush. But look at this. That is freaking stunning. I don't care what anybody says. I'm go I got it up really high. But those two together, is it too much? Am I the drama? I don't know. But I like it. Aren't you glad I didn't put that orange eyeshadow on? I would have never been able to do this. Oh, my God. I am in awe at these two blushes. <laughs> I didn't think it would be like that, but I'm stepping out of my comfort zone to wear berry blush, and I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I might have to do some eyeshadow with this. I think I will. All right. We're back, and it's blended, and it is pink, and it is berry, and it is beautiful. I love a dramatic 80s type of blush, and this is doing it for me. So, let's do a little bit of eyeshadow. Um... I think I have a nude lip to try on, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on a little bit of this Milani blush, this nude one, and see how that wears. Hold on, let me show you that one. That's cute too. I think it's blending into the, to the berry. Let's just see how that, if we can multi-purpose this blush. And it's cream, so... It's not going to be too, too much. What do we think? I think yes. Yep, that'll work. Multi-purpose products, you got to love it. I like it. I do. I do. I want the coral one. I'm going to put this in my Target basket and order it online and go pick it up because I want that orange one. If the pink is looking like this with this Milani blush on top, I want the orange one. And I'm going to put the orange blush from e.l.f., this orange putty blush from e.l.f. on top. I think this one is called Turks and Caicos. Yeah, I'm going to put this orange one on top of the orange one from L'Oreal. So, am I going to be wearing two blushes all the rest of the summer? Probably. And that's fine. I like it. So, anyway, let's move along to lips. Morphe recently released a drip glass lip gloss. This is called Drip Glass Drenched Lip Gloss. You know I hate those long names. But anyway, <laughs> they had these inside of Ulta too. I didn't really research them. I just thought they were really pretty and I did some swatches inside. They 
had a nice soft pink one that I wanted, but it wasn't in the store, so I didn't bother ordering it. I got this shade called Deep Brick. And I think these were like $10 or $12, one of the two. But that's going to be the lip today, and I hope it's not too brown. But we'll see. So this is what the applicator looks like. This is the glass. I mean, the container. It doesn't have a smell, which is good. And that's actually very pretty. It does have a lot of pink in it. But this is the shade Deep Brick. So I'm going to line my lips with the Morphe pencil in the shade Mauve Tails. Makeup Talk. Lord, where I get Mauve Tails from? I'm just going to line my lips with that. It's very neutral. Overline my top lip just a little bit. And I can tell already, I did not need to add that foundation powder on top of the foundation itself. I should have uh, just sprayed my face and did like a sheer powder because I feel like it's getting a little cakey down here where I added the foundation powder. But that's okay. We're moving on. So let's try on this lip gloss. I wish the applicator was a little bit bigger. This is definitely made for people without lips. Well, let's see. <laughs> that was a joke. Kind of. Ooh, that's pretty though. So you guys, that's the look. That's the drugstore look that I came up with today using some new to me products and some new products on the market. I have to say that so far I'm really am feeling this skin tint, even though again, if you're looking for a light sheer coverage, this is not it. This is a medium coverage skin tint. Think the, I think one that could be comparable to this is the lip bar. Um, this is a little bit more liquidy, but the lip bar says it's a skin tint, but it also gives you coverage. This is going to give you medium coverage. And the shades are pretty nice. They have some um, darker shades as well. I saw the Instagrammer Coco Swatches. If you are her complexion, you can go and look on hers because she swatched three and they match perfectly as well. So they do have a nice shade range with these. And like I said, they range from anywhere to $12 to $15, depending where you get them. Highly recommend the L'Oreal Infallible Blush. I really am digging this. I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on it in the store so I can actually see what it looks like. So if you're able to, definitely recommend. But I'm very pleased with the blush. And clearly the blush is the star of the story today. And that is totally okay with me. I did want to use one of these eyeshadow sticks. But I may do a, a YouTube short video to try out the eyeshadow sticks because they are super super stay and I want to make sure that the look I'm pulling together matches with those but we'll see how they work and I would definitely report back thanks again for watching you guys thanks for tuning in don't forget to give me that big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my blog newsletter thank you to those who have done so and as always everything will be linked down below and I will see y'all back here real real soon bye